Because uh, we got some news from Accenture this morning. The company announcing the launch of a $3 billion cloud investment. That's what they're calling it. Joining me now is the company CEO, Julie Sweet. Julie, it's uh, nice to have you. It's been about four months since we last spoke with you. Um, tell me about this investment. You're, uh, it's $3 billion investment over three years to, quote, what you say is help clients across all industries rapidly become cloud-first businesses. What does that mean? Well, David, uh, thanks for having me today. As we talked about uh, just four months ago, there's been this massive acceleration in the cloud. And really what's happening is a once in an era replatforming of global business. We're 20% in the cloud today. We believe we'll move to around 80% in just five years. And, uh, and so what Accenture Cloud First is about is helping companies get there faster by bringing together all the capabilities with a singular focus of how are we going to replatform at speed. All right, and so you're spending a billion dollars a year over the next three years to do that. What actually does that mean? Where does that money go? Sure, so um, pre-COVID, we've worked with a ton of the digital leaders who've been out up front. And what we see is there's three important components. First of all, with our partners, our cloud partners across the spectrum, it's really critical to not just move companies, to but move entire industries. And that takes the roadmaps, the learnings, the data integration about what problems, the industry special, specialization. So we're going to be investing in those solutions often along with our partners. The second area is the speed. And so investing in even better automation and technology that's going to help uh, not just move uh, uh, our co these companies faster, but actually also be able to operate in the cloud um, more and more with more and more productivity. Think about the cloud becoming a platform for their pr productivity. And then the third place is around talent and sustainability. Because if you're replatforming entire global businesses in the cloud, we have to do so in a sustainable way which means starting from what we've done uh, in measuring going from the data center, uh, getting out of your data centers to the cloud, what it does for the climate change. It's around things like supply chain, making sure that you're building in the ability to have the integrity of the supply chain and that you're reskilling. And so we'll be investing in making this replatforming a sustainable one, which is core as we think about uh, post COVID, our belief um, as companies across the globe and governments that we need to make a better future for all by building in this view of all stakeholders from the planet to our people. Yeah, you know, Julie, it's interesting. John Fort was reporting on Snowflake right prior to our interview here, and I'm not going to ask you to comment on the valuation. But when you say 20 percent to 80 percent in terms of moving to the cloud, the opportunity would seem to be enormous, perhaps reflective of some of the enthusiasm we've seen, generally speaking, in those equities that reflect the cloud. I mean, would you agree with that? Absolutely. I mean, the, the, the point of the reason why, though, is because if you think about the resilience that's needed that we've all learned uh, during COVID has not been there, whether it's supply chain or the, the need to go remote everywhere and have the resilience, the fact that things are so unpredictable uh, people have changed behavior. Companies need to be able to crunch data. 90% of the world's data has been created in the last two years and only 1% is analyzed. When you just take those two things in an unpredictable environment, um, you can see why the cloud is so critical and you have this understanding because that's where you get the compute power. That's where you're able to integrate with all the other technologies that allow those things to happen fast. We just put out new research that said 80% of executives believe the cloud is essential to reduce uncertainty and risk. Uh, and that's what you're seeing. And of course, our role is to make sure that we can help companies answer the question you had about Snowflake. Which of the partners, which of the technologies, how do you integrate it with your SaaS applications? What things do you move to the cloud in what pace? Those are complex questions. And that's how we work with our partners and uh, and companies with the knowledge to how to do that rapidly. Julie, it's Kayla Tausche in Washington. I've covered your participation with the White House in some of these discussions around workforce development and retraining, which you just mentioned as part of the cloud and the economy of the future. But the company has announced that it's laying off 25,000 employees in recent weeks. And I'm just wondering, 
how you made the decision to permanently part with those employees rather than reskill them for this investment that you're making. You know, it's a great question, Kayla. So once, uh, so first of all, what we decided is over the course of a year, we approximately manage out about five percent uh, of our, um, you know, of our of our people. And one of the things that we want to do, and we do that year in and year out. And so what we wanted to do was um, accelerate the five percent, so that we're really not uh, we're continuing to invest in the future. And so. Is great. We spend a billion dollars a year on reskilling, but even when you do so, you can't reskill everyone. Uh, and so we've done it very thoughtfully. So, and in addition, we're now piloting uh, some uh, new things that we want to bring to our clients in some of our own markets with helping uh, those people that we're leaving also look at uh, their market and what other learning they need to do. And so that's a new part of what we're going to be bringing to our clients as well. But really, this is about acceleration that even in a company that spends a billion dollars a year, right, we also need to have a certain level of attrition.